hundred years of ranching, they're still going out. They still make a living off them good old cows. Now, is the one nutted bull fertile? Yeah. Is he as efficient? Probably not. something that's happening in that tree right back there see that big cottonwood tree yeah well there's some small birds in there and they're tweeting along but there's also at the moment two bald eagles in that tree and a little bit ago there was three bald eagles in that tree and they were talking and chattering, telling each other what a great day it was. It's nice and sunny, a little frosty, but still a gorgeous day. And now that I got my camera out and I got situated, they're quiet. <laughs> of course they are. Of course they are. All right. I'm going to zoom in so you can see them. And I'm going to hang out for a bit and see if they start talking again. Because most people don't know what bald eagles sound like. Uh, they don't sound like they do on TV. Because for some idiotic reason, people on TV think that bald eagles and golden eagles should sound like red tail hawks. <laughs> don't ask me why. Uh, but they do. That's They always put in a red tail hawk scream over the top of an eagle. Eagles don't do that. Okay, I'm gonna turn you around and we're gonna try this, okay? All right, here we go. my soul out for a walk it's a little chilly but sunny if you're in the sunshine out of the wind it's wonderful but I'm in the shadow so it's a little chilly but I thought I'd share I'm getting company not exactly TDF honest farming because these are just our calves and they're curious. Cows are a very, very curious creature. And I've gone on a little hike here. I haven't gone very far. But they want to come see what I'm doing. Because uh, I haven't been down here very, 
or at all actually since they've been here so you can also see in the background there is bravo and he's watching that one calf he wants to put that one calf with these calves oops and up oh, there he goes he couldn't stand it anymore he took off he was not supposed to Come here now. He did. But it's awfully hard when you're a puppy and you want to be a cow dog so badly. I should quit cutting him slack because he's over a year old, but still, he can't stand it. And he stayed there a long time before he broke his little sit there. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And now they're, see, here again. They're curious, they're like, what, what did he do? Who is that? So they're actually turning around and coming back, see? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. So they'll get up to a certain point. He's watching them. And he'll, he'll want to chase them back to go. Where's he? There. Bravo. Bravo. Sit. Or come. One of the two. Yes. Yes. You can't be chasing cats. They gotta get fat. That's all they have to do in their lives is eat. Right?
No, um, yeah. Oh, you could just see his hand for a minute. Here we go. Come on, Propaganda. Oh, you oh, look good. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't need anybody. They're me. My knee is golden. I'm supposed to ride him. Yeah. He's fucking good. He's right there. Yeah, Papa's in that black shirt. The white hat. Mr. Buttons? If you run six or seven out of ten, I'm first, second, third, fourth in the air.